Now, more than ever before, there is incredible turbulence and chaos in the marketplace. The fabric of Social Security and employer security is so brittle you can practically hear the thread snap. Our safety nets are broken and no one is in a position to stitch them back together. But there's hope, and that hope just so happens to look like you and me. Life insurance professionals have the solutions to these intimidating problems. We're the one segment of the financial services industry that can provide certainty in an uncertain world, and so we have a moral obligation to educate the public about creating their own security. We can provide clarity in the chaos, calm in the storm, but so far, we've done a pretty weak job of it. The statistics are staggering. Only 44% of U.S. households have individual life insurance. And half of those same households admit they don't have enough life insurance. At a time when access to information is at an all-time high, this exposure is at a 50-year low. Americans are conflicted, or maybe even confounded, about what to do to protect their financial futures. They know that the traditional safety nets are vanishing, but they're not taking the right actions to protect themselves and their families. Even as they see the bottom rungs of the traditional socioeconomic ladder are vanishing. The good news is, we've got the solutions. And now, more than ever, we need to tell the right stories, the right way, to help Americans understand how to turn our products into their solutions. The gap between the need for life insurance and the consumption of life insurance is vast. And floating between this clear need for life insurance and the lack of consumption of life insurance lies a virtual no man's land. In fact, it's not a no man's land at all. It's a gap littered with opportunities. Opportunities to create new stories, compelling stories, stories that inspire action. But in order to truly help Americans plan for their security, we have to understand what they're afraid of and what motivates them. If you break life insurance consumers into three groups, those with net worth of less than one million, those with a net worth of one to 25 million, and those with 25 million or more in net worth, you'll see that what keeps them up at night is different. The first group is worried about income replacement. Those with one to 25 million in net worth are concerned with balancing their own financial security and the financial futures of their children and grandchildren. The third group is focused on risk mitigation through tax planning and asset protection. For each of these three segments, there are three consumer trends that lend themselves to the creation of new stories. Increasing taxes, the volatile economy, and changing demographics. We've got to understand the trends, and we've got to adapt our stories and our approach. The problems are obvious. The solutions lie in motivating consumers to act by offering them guarantees, flexibility, and control. In a world where so much feels so uncertain, security is actually well within reach. Our products offer unique benefits that allow our consumers to protect themselves, rely on themselves, without depending on the whims of government or an employer. It's called self-security. It's simple and it's smart. But right now, consumers don't even realize this solution exists. So we need to tell this story. We need to repeat this story. We need to weave our solutions into the fabric of their new financial security blankets. Let's reverse this 50-year trend, starting now. Nobody wakes up in the morning wondering if they have enough life insurance, but they just might, given the understanding of what life insurance can do for them and their loved ones. Life insurance is there through the turmoil, fending off threats and instability. Our products take the risk out of life. They provide the very certainty consumers need, guarantees, flexibility, and control and more importantly, peace of mind. Together, we can transform tomorrow.